Now this is the right spot for a rest. Let's make the most of our break, guys. energized already. Yeah, let's get some food on the go. Ah, there you are. I don't want to my either, but aren't you on tent duty today? Oh, I'm sorry I forgot. I'll head back at... It's all finished. Huh? We already packed it all up. <sighs> then what was the point of telling me? Don't you have better things to do? Hey, you owe us one. <sighs> I'm just joking. Are you okay? What do you mean, okay? These last few days, it's been a lot, right? That's why you're concerned? Yeah, you got it. We were worried. Your problems are our problems. Just because someone says they're doing okay, doesn't mean everything actually is fine with them. You know, there's a word for people like you. Hmm? Busybodies. All of you. Now, Tyrant, that is completely uncalled for. <laughs> huh? huh? You two really must be bored stiff. Good grief. Everyone needs to let off steam. Is my life that entertaining to you? <laughs> I'll allow it. Hey, that watch. Our lifetimes run for ten years only. But this pocket watch has already lived for longer than that. By being passed from Nimue's hands to mine. What Guernica said to us on that battlefield. I don't know what you made of it exactly, but frankly, to me, it was a load of nonsense. Not even enough to push us together. Hmm. But that's changed. If Nimue's life is represented by her dreams, then in remembering those, I carry her life with me. Perhaps now, I can give a purpose to my life. She'd live on if I were to pass her dreams on to others, right? Heavy. Also, I've done some thinking. If I had just, say, ten more years, no, even five, with just a bit of borrowed time, how many more memories could I fit inside this little pocket watch? And that's... Why you're here now? That's half of it. What's the other half then? Oh, uh, well. In fact, just forget it. Oh, come on. You've already told us that much. Might as well give us the whole story. Th this is just not the place or time for it. That's all. Lame. Still. It was a nice chat. Dreams in objects. Huh? <laughs> what? Huh? Thanks, Tyon. We came here to cheer you up a bit, and got food for thought instead. Oh, sure. Anytime. Neo. Here to exit the Great Falls area. 
If you're having a hard time, Mimi, I'll be more than happy to carry you. We can't leave it like this. Challenge. Don't lose focus. Together, we cannot lose. No, no, no! I'm the one you want. Love You're a lifesaver. Hit the Very ball. Current. Energy grenade. Fire ball. Wait. What? I'm the one you want. Stormy sky. Break. You what? Hazy dark. No one looks. Fire ball. Overfall.
Hope you're ready for us! Officer's duty. your footing, guys. This is our first time here, isn't it? Is that? That's Keves Castle, all right. First time seeing it. Yeah. Same level of elaborate as Castle of Agnes. Can also see Great Sword on left. Are we going through with this? No. I see it's far too risky now. The area will be under strict guard. But down slope, we could go via the forest. Mac to Wildwood, huh? Doesn't sound too bad to me. Never been this far in before. Me neither. The last time I had an audience with the Queen, she had come in person to the war front.
Commander Ethel, Fornis Forward, Army's Colony 4. Reporting in as ordered, Your Majesty. It has been some time, hasn't it? Ma'am, I'm elated to find you in good stead, Your Majesty. That you would grace us with your presence is an honor above my station. We can dispense with the stiff preambles, Ethel. N. Mom. N. Consul N. That's him. N. The head honcho of Kavesi Consuls himself. The Golden Consul. What is that? The Annihilator. The latest weapon in our military arsenal. It utilizes breakthroughs in application of the Annihilation Effect. You've harnessed it. Not only is its power without equal, it has another exquisite benefit. Let me show you. What? You mean right here and now? Indeed. This will be its finest hour. The Orion Mountains. A terrible shame. Her Majesty has a soft spot for them. Please do not think ill of me. What? What? What was that? Just thunder, innit? Brighter than any lightning I've ever seen. Still ringing in ears. Where did the light come from? No idea. But this can't be good. What incredible power. Its effective range has no discernible limit whatsoever. What are you? I'm saying an attack like the one you just witnessed can be delivered anywhere. So you mean to use this weapon against Agnes? Uh, if you were to use this, then what about the clocks? Who said anything about using it on Agnes? Mom? The next target will be this. Good here. <laughs> what do you reckon? Oh, that's a rare one. Don't try to stop us. I don't think we'll run into any issues. <laughs> I'll provide I'm the one you want. You're a lifesaver. <laughs> Oh, 
Soon. I hear it's tough going inside. We'd best be on the lookout. I see an ether channel. Oh, night has fallen. Watch the moss, guys. Mind you don't slip. Whoa. Yeah! Falling flat on his ass himself. Oh, yeah. Bloody hilarious. You're always taking the mick out of me. Noah! Huh? Did you say something? Oh, for... Don't come crying if you fall. You seem like you're a million miles away. Lot on your mind? Yeah. yeah kinda. Mio! Ah, thank you. Are you okay? Yeah, I just lost my footing for a second. I I'm okay. For now, I'm okay. For now? Are you not feeling a hundred percent? Ah? Nah, nothing like that. I'm totally fine, promise. Like I said, I just missed my footing. If you start feeling worse, just say. I don't want you hiding it. Mm. You're a kind man, aren't you? I, I, I'm just uh, being polite. Whoa! <laughs> oh. So what was on your mind, earlier? Yeah, that light. I was wondering if it had anything to do with us. You think maybe... could it have been something that Mobius did? Huh? We know that they're hunting us. Mm. Tyon, you told us before that our consoles were actually the same. Yeah. I did say that. After that, nobody said so, but we were all thinking it. The war between Agnes and Kevez and the consuls. Or rather, Mobius. They must be connected somehow. It could be that all the fighting, it might be that it's all orchestrated according to Mobius. And to them, Ouroboros. Only spell trouble. Since we keep wrecking their flame clocks and all, they must really hate us messing with their stuff, I guess. So we're one big thorn in their side. Hmm. It does stand to reason that's why we're their targets. 
but it doesn't tell us anything about why our colonies fight. Any theories? Not as yet. But I figure, isn't discovering that our real objective here, right? If we seek out the city, maybe we'll find answers. One way to know. Good spot to catch our breath. Good to add more names. What to buy? Whoa, got a rare dude all right here. Give it a good once over. Something so valuable here. <laughs> Wonder what's inside. Man, those Mobius mooks, they make my feathers stand on end. Ending people's lives like it doesn't matter. Oh, what a sick joke. Their word for people like that? Know what Nopon say? No idea. Tell us. Super villain pon. Riku, what does that mean then? It be the extreme bad guy. Ah, I think I get it. Meme? What's up, Manana? Ben, I know we're in Mio and friends, supervillain Pon. You're labeling us? Labeling. Because friends used to end lives also. <sighs> that not make them supervillain Pon? I mean, it's not like we ever had a choice or anything. It was them or us. So when no choice, not fall under definition then. None of us ever fought because we wanted to. It's just how it worked. How people worked. And the world. So, world is super villain Pon. Huh? Since it make everyone do nasty things, world is bad guy. The world is... bad? Huh, I never thought of it like that. Now that you mention it, what in the world are we even here for?
I wouldn't strain your brain too much. Sounds like you have. What gave you that idea? Cut the snark, just tell me. The end point of it is suicide. Say what? If you don't want to hurt others, you'll end up denying your own right to survive. Eventually, you come to the conclusion that the world may well be better off without your presence. The only resolution, then, is to erase the self. To die. See? Pointless. Isn't that taking it too far? The world doesn't just vanish because you've closed your eyes. What? The moon. Think about it. Why is it that the moon shines? Just because we're watching? Of course not. Even if humans were gone, it would shine on, illuminating the land beneath. And yet, we're the ones that give meaning to it. We say, bit dim tonight, or looks brighter than usual, eh? Similarly, we can now imbue the world with meaning or change it. It's a privilege we were lucky to obtain. And that's the power of Ouroboros. We're obliged to use it. We can make a difference. So we don't become supervillains. That's one thing to aim for, at least. Right? Here we are, then. I guess this is fate, too, huh? Fallen soldiers. Is this, like, a rare thing? Hey, you sure we're going the right way, guys? Mmm, well, it's a path, at least. Looks like it's gonna be a real pain getting through here. True, but we don't have the luxury of loitering. Well, I don't see any other road to take, so let's just get this over with.
Fighter come back. No escape! I'll show ya! Then pile on the pressure! Oh yeah, let me out of it! We just want to pass through. We're not looking for trouble. Come on, guys. What's your problem? Juniper, 
Imogen's at her limit. She can't keep going. Huh? Spark! And we could have had their life, too. So close. <gasps> That's very unfortunate. We'll have to retreat, then. What was all that about? Weirdos. Noah, what's wrong? I was just thinking. About that archer, they seem quite the formidable opponent, to be sure. That's true, but there was something else about them. Say, you don't think... Those soldiers' flame clocks. They might be getting low. Oh, come on, Noah. You'd better not be thinking of offering your assistance. It's hard to put into words, but something's off. What, well, you think we have time to be traipsing around on this whim of yours? It really bothers you? Yeah. Give it up, Tyon. Once I was like this, there's no stopping him. Oh, why do I bother? Besides, Noah's intuition's usually pretty on the mark. We could just take a look. A, a tiny little peek? Fine. I can see no amount of reasoning is going to dissuade you. However, if it turns out to be nothing, we head straight back and move on. Acceptable? That's fine. OK, let's move. We should be able to catch up to them if we follow their tracks. Noah, you know how folks are when their flame clock runs low. They'll come on us like starved beasts. Yeah, I know. But I can't just turn a blind eye. That container. Judging by how the tracks stop here, it seems that this is where those soldiers pass through. Through here? But how? Hmm. Doesn't look easily traversable, does it? Yeah, I can't see us getting across there anytime soon. We could always take a detour. Look, this way. Yeah. Thanks, Tyon. Like I said, we can't afford to be hanging around here. Come on, we haven't got all day. Nimble little so-and-sos sliding down here on a rope. I wonder if they could teach me to do that. Wonder what's inside. Support. The 
This is crazy. There was a colony here? That's right. This is an abandoned colony. Please listen to us. We didn't come here to fight you. Mm. We can free you from your flame clock. Free us? You don't have much time left on yours, do you? We can help you with that, so if you just... Stop attacking you? Yeah. Hmm. All right. I'll hear you out. Uh... Thank you. Please, come in. They're still wary of us. Can't let our guard down. Good to add more names. Not a lot of people around. Yeah. It's quite unlike any other colony. Good to add more names. Even for a place this tumble down, the people here seem so resigned. Yeah, it feels like it's completely cut off from the outside world. I've seen a few colonies with dwindling flame clocks before, but this one is especially bizarre. It's like they're not trying to survive here at all. Do you get that impression? Back when I was stationed at Lambda, I'd heard rumors about Colony Tau. What did they say? That deep in the forest, there's a colony with some very peculiar customs and traditions. This is my first time seeing it in reality, but I never expected it to be so run down. Did you have any dealings with it? None at all. This is just hearsay from Commander Izzard. Anyway, we should hurry. Let's smash the flame clock and free everyone. It being an abandoned colony, we are continually starved of sufficient life sources. Wait, are you the commander? That's right. Sorry, I failed to tell you before. I am Juniper, and it's my job to lead Colony Tau. If that's so, then surely you must know who we are. I'm afraid I know nothing. Oh. We have no need of such information. Juniper told us we'd welcome you in, whoever you might turn out to be. So, that's the rule. We don't ask questions. But you attacked us back there. Our scouts told us about some monsters in the forest they've never seen before. So, we sent them out on a hunt. But then they bumped into you en route. They must have figured it'd be more efficient to get you out of the way first. So, contrary to our plan, we were made to retreat. Oh yeah? What about your consul? Where are they hiding? I told you, this is an abandoned colony. Our consul rarely visits us. You're in such a strange situation. All the more reason to get you out of this predicament. I think you guys are getting the wrong end of the stick here. <sighs> it's true. We aren't afraid of Colony Tau's flame clock running out. All it means is the end of our days gazing at our ever-diminishing supply. But you could die. Uh-huh. As if we just let you waltz in and break our flame clock. We all have to perish someday. If our lives should expire, then we'll sink into silence, darkness, oblivion. We'll return to the Earth. <sighs> yes, but... you can't just... The land will take us, and we will simply be. That's how it is at Colony Tau. No one will ever think of us. And yet here we are. Slowly but surely, we are withering. We don't always find the nutrition that we need to live. If Colony Tau cannot accumulate the vital flames it needs, then it proves only that we were too weak. And in nature, the weak are destined to perish. 
The logic would dictate that nature is pushing you to become stronger. If we set you free, you won't have to worry about all this crap. We neither worry nor fear for what may come to pass. We've already lost so many of our friends and allies. And every time we return to their bodies to the Earth, such will be our fate. What's the point of fearing the inevitable? We know we're gonna die. What's wrong with us living the way we always have? But how do you live without hope? It will spell the end of the story that our predecessors weaved for generations. A tale cut short. I would argue that it feels a little melancholy. In that sense, if we were to be freed from the flame clock, then... Juniper! Bad news! Tell me. The monsters are coming straight for the colony, and they already took one of us down! No. They came all the way here. We'll join you. Good to add more names. Mm. Juniper, we need orders. This is perfectly fine. We'll defeat them right here. Juniper! What are you...? Ask us later. We'll back you up. Thank you. I'll fight to the best of my ability as well. Here we go! Good to add more names. <laughs> Thanks! Okay, he's still alive. Thank the flames. I'm so glad we made it in time. I'm so glad. Again, accept my thanks. We couldn't have done this without you. Don't worry about it. <sighs> I suppose it's strange of me to talk about the laws of nature when I fear losing my friends. Not at all. Honestly, that seems like the most natural thing of all. When you told me that you would release us from the flame clock, I thought that if you really were telling the truth, it would make life easier. But at the same time, I began to hate the fact that I was looking for a way out. Looking up at our clock, seeing the life ebbing away, I'd already accepted my fate. And letting go of that status quo, wretched though it was, after so long, I was scared of what might happen if we did. Juniper. Noah, your words at the time seemed so appealing to me. I could not destroy the collective efforts that became the colony and everything it represents with my own two hands. But then you said you would destroy it for us. We'd be guilt-free. If that isn't appealing, then what is? You must have been aware of how tragic it is to simply await death. 
That's why you invited us, isn't it? Even now, I'm not afraid of dying. But I hated the idea of losing those I hold dear. When I saw my friend lying there, I remembered what you told me, and for a brief moment, I felt the grip of fear. I felt so weak and helpless, yet at the same time, I didn't want to let go of my dear friend. So I must have closed myself off. I stopped thinking, closed my eyes, and covered my ears. Perhaps I was simply waiting for the inevitable release. Even so, we have to keep thinking. That's right. Even if there are things we'd rather not see, we still need to look. And breaking out of your shell, scrambling in desperation for a way to escape despair. That's not what I call being weak. You've defended this place for so long. Why? Because you're strong. And once you're no longer shackled by the rules of the flame clock, you can accept a different reality. You can become stronger still. I know it. We can. You can. It won't be easy, far from it. But we'll help you. Juniper, it's your call. We've made it this far thanks to you. Yes, I suppose so. If there is a possibility that you can release us from the clock, then please. And if not, it's not like anything's changed. <laughs> Very true. If you can't break it, I can live with that too. Nothing changes without a reason, without a cause. Perhaps this event will teach me to see things in a new light. Here we go! I see acceptance is actually surprisingly easy when it comes down to it. I think it probably is, yeah. Uh, I'm sorry if this seems rude, but could I ask another favor of you? Sure. I'd like to learn much more of the world, become a stronger individual. To that end, is there any chance I could accompany you? What do you say, guys? We could certainly do with someone of Juniper's caliber. It'd be reassuring to have you on board. You're very welcome to join. Is your colony going to be okay, though? Can they get on without you? Colony Tau needs to undergo change, too. We need to extend our knowledge and grow. So I'd like you to take me on a trip, somewhere far away, and show me something new. A journey of discovery, huh? I guess that's another thing we need in order to grow. Might be an idea to send some of our younger recruits out, too. Could be a good lesson. It's time to breathe new life into our colony. Let us break free from the chains that once bound us. I guess I'm still hanging about, though. Can't have us all gallivanting about the place. Your console really doesn't bother to show up, huh? Even after we broke the flame clock? You think they'd know? Better this way, if you ask me. Still, we shouldn't rule out the possibility that they'll make trouble for you. If something happens, you tell us immediately, okay? Sure, can do. We'll be counting on you. Well, we don't have all day. I think it's about time we made tracks, no? You're right. Time to move, then. Well, then, everyone? Ah, don't worry about us. You know we can handle ourselves. We'll prove that Colony Tau can be so much more. Yes, I'm sure it will be. Off you go then, skedaddle! The colony's staying right here, waiting for your return. It's a pleasure!
Good to add more names. Wonder what's inside. Good to add more names. I see some relations have changed. My stomach's growling. Could we get a bite to eat, please? Better make sure we're well rested. I'll start, shall I? I couldn't eat another bite. Can't wait to see how Manana prepares it. All right, everyone. Time to head out. What to buy? Better make sure we're well rested. Let's lay out the facts. Let's lay out the facts. I think we need to discuss this. Are we all ready to fight? It's good to keep a record. Dig up some spongy spuds. I see some relations have changed.
Let's report back to Carson. I'll do my best. Oops, they found us. Time to win out the big gun! I'll wreck them good! Big gun! Oh, This'll keep me going. Liberation! Oh, no love lost! No move down! Wait! Stones for emergencies. I hope nothing bad's happened. I'm sure it'll be fine. Let's go check. I see some relations have changed. And now we know things.
This way, please. It'll be faster if we climb up this way. Wonder what's inside? Think you operate it like so. I'm on it. That's the way. Oh, good thing we found this. Let's make the most of our break, guys. Could you all come round for a second? Where should I start? Let's lay out the facts. together the offerings the colony holds some deeply alien customs to take the fast way.
like we can go through here. I, I think we could slide down that thing. Oh, good thing we found this. to take the fast way. Ah. Woohoo! This gets the blood pumping, eh? We've so got to do that again! We fought Kavesi here. Many of my friends fell. Ugh, that smarts! Give them a peaceful sleep.
We got new folks on the map. Guess we'll clamber up here. Some relationships changed. I've never traveled so far from my colony before. You'll do just fine, Juniper. Let's go. Could that be a path? Check out what it bombed! something decent, right? I'm the one you want. Here's for that. I like More where that came from. I'll show you. I'll end it here. That's the broken one. Are you prepared? Follow me. Let's hit it. How about this? More where that came from. I'll end it here. <laughs> Out of the frying pan and into the fire. Out of the frying pan and into the fire. Kevez and Agnes are both fully mobilized. We'll have to pick them off one at a time. Is there a good use for that? All right, let's do it.
We found rain. Pretty rare specimen. I'm curious to see what tactics you have in place surrounded by so much nature. What say we go hunting together? I'm fairly well versed in that. I'm gonna put my feet up if you don't mind. I'm dead on my feet. We can do though, not now. Manana, look, we've still got a ways to go, so you're gonna have to get used to rationing stuff out, okay? Completely gone! <gasps> What's up? What's wrong? What did you say was gone? I think she was yelling about food. What? No way! For real! French sure did not just put elsewhere and forget. Nuh uh. I'm positive it was right here. Indeed. I checked it myself before I turned in. Don't tell me someone scoffed the whole lot. Ah, oh, no way. Nah. Nanana will leave no plate 
unpolished. That awful, false accusation! Not even Manana ever stooped to such crude, vulgar behaviour. All right, all right, we get it. Just chill out already. Manana refused to become frosty. This now matter of honour and dignity. For starters... I know Manana was feeling a bit peckish, but she can't have eaten up the lot. So who then? That guy barely eats at all, right? Indeed. Riku practiced ancient Nopon art of restraint. Hey, check it. Manana, do not. A feather? But what kind? I found tracks here. Nobody's blaming you here. These footprints. I think they're turkey. Mystery solved then. A turkey feather. So, they raided our supplies. Lands can stop apology. Honour and dignity of Manana left in tatters for a vile and baseless accusation. Come on, please lighten up already. All accusations aside, we're really strapped for food. Guess we'll have to go foraging. I concur. Luckily, this area is pretty bountiful all in all, so we might not be too hard pressed. Well, better get to it. Right. Okay. Anyway, that clearly too much eat. Manana is bottomless pit. Meh meh? What? Well, how Riku know Manana is dainty eater? Not denying. Lies and deceit. On this day of days, Manana will have retribution! <sighs> Looks like we've got ourselves a runner! Slipped out from the castle. Is this okay? He could get in touch with Ouroboros. Won't that impact our previous arrangements? Not to worry. If he does make contact, they'll come. <laughs> really? Ouroboros are simply like that. Hmm. Well, if you say so, we can probably take your word. Right, O? Hmm, certainly. As you say, P, we probably can take his word. Meat is sparking amazing. Guess we know what's on the menu today, then. There wasn't any food here, was there? Want to look a bit further back? No! 
Much relief. Glad Riku had just power frame last night. Should perform 30% better than leading brand. What's she on about, leading brand? I get that we're weaker than Agnians, so we need this to get on more of an even footing in combat, but... Friends say but. Why but? We just need oomph, you know, like kapow sort of thing. Sound effects not help comprehension. Oh, you know, like that doodad Noah has. Doodad? Ujima Flip. You know what I mean. Don't make me say it. What friend want to use for? Uh, well, I... Not on your own by any chance. I... If so, Riku have to pass. Oh, come on. So Riku gets right. Ugh. Backing up. This plan of Lance, know a privy to it? <sighs> Make decision without consult allies? Bad form. But he's our enemy. And who decide that? you never say himself? That he enemy? He didn't. I did. In absence of complete picture? Well, but he's different. So after me just once, Lance make up mind? <sighs> then... What are we going to do? Only thing friends can. Keep moving forward. How's that going to solve anything? Should never have asked. Also, do that, not that kind of thing. <sighs> Time to do the right thing, eh? Every day's a training day. Uncharted territory always puts me on edge. Hey, look. That's a really odd-looking tree. Meh. Oh, wondrous day! Cannot believe eyes. It's fruit of legend, bright fig! Bright fig? What's a bright fig when it's at home? Let me guess. They're stupidly delish. Oh, guaranteed! Deliciousness is such that friends will be picking up jaws from ground for weeks! Uh-oh. What's up? Are they rotten or something? Tragedy strike! These not ripe for plucking yet, let alone eating! If eat now, bitter flavour calls agonising death! Huh? I don't know. They look tasty enough to me. Bright fig not good for eating even after full yellow. Still have to wait another year before able to enjoy. That's too long. Man, so much for that. Never mind. You can always come back next year. It's legendary, right? You wouldn't want to miss out. Guess we'll have to. But, Mio, a year from now? Mm. Even if I might not get to do it. You guys can still have a taste. Why wouldn't you... Whoa. Love, you've got to stop being so detached about it. You'll just get everyone feeling guilty. 
Oh, sorry, sorry. Please don't mind me. Don't mind me, she says. Of course we're going to mind you, doll. Hey, how can you be so casual about it? What do you mean, casual? I assure you, I'm not. I'm actually pretty flustered. You defo don't look it. If it looks that way to you, well, that's because I shouldn't even be here. What do you mean? This life's a gift from a dear friend. It should have been me. I should have died out there that day. So this isn't really me. I'm just living on her time. Maybe that's why. Hmm. Somehow, that reminds me of us. I know. When we're interlinked, I can see a glimpse. Inferno. Destruction. Land screaming. Noah's memories. What if... Bear with me. That friend of yours, she showed up like Euron. As an enemy? as an enemy. I suppose I'd want to know same as Lance. Simply why. Gotcha. I figured. Mm. Why is it that you gave your life for mine? Why? You could have lived longer yourself, me, Abby. Why did you do it? So her name was me, Abby. Sorry. Guess it's a sensitive subject. It's funny. I thought I had it all locked down. Thank you. Whatever a reason, I'd accept it. The facts. Whatever the truth may be. And that's it. No looking back. While my de facto partner's running full steam ahead. I mean, I can't very well go backwards, can I now? Your partner's now, eh? <laughs> I suppose you are at that. Hmm? I wonder, how does he see things? I think there's more food to find over there. Guess we'll clamber up here. Yeah. What you got for me? Oh. Valuable. Oh. Oh. Huh. 
Good thing we hey. found this. What's this food you're on about? Did you scoff it all up already? We couldn't even if we wanted to. We've rounded up plenty of ingredients. Looks tasty. This amounts to keep us going for a while. All right, then. That should be us good for food now. Yeah. Looks like that'll last us a little while. <gasps> What's wrong, Mia? <gasps> Who's there? Come out! Huh? Oliaris! Yeah, much better. I owe you. What are you doing over this way? I thought you were going to the castle. Yeah. No, I went. And this is what I got for my trouble. So, tell us, what happened? But why, Your Majesty? Why would you attack Colony 4? You came into contact with Ouroboros, did you not? <gasps> I'd call it burning out the contagion. C contagion You're implying we've been contaminated? Have you not? You've been removed from the protection of the flame clocks. You no longer need to wager your lives in battle. Who struggles not in life deserves not to live. That is the compact of our nation, and moreover, the truth. Majesty, my queen. Yet, to punish you all for fate's machinations would be a misstep. Therefore, I shall grant you a chance. What must I do? Eliminate Ouroboros. <gasps> you want me to... Noah, and the rest. Naturally, I am cognizant of the fact that the enemy is wily and capable. I have no intention of sending you alone. <gasps> Kamaravi! Wh why are you here? Ethel. H how? But you're not even on the same side. Entertainment. Pardon? 
Those who have been released from the Flame Clock's sacred indenture cannot be affected by the Mobius Iris. To bring you back under control, I would have to force your rebirth. But that wouldn't be nearly as fun. The power you two wield surpasses even some of our consoles. I have great hope for you. Ethel, Kamaravi. They gave Ethel and Kamaravi new Phronesis. They've been made specifically to kill Ouroboros. The tune-up might take a little while, though you don't have much time. The two of them are after your heads. You're sure of this? Really? That's why I came here, to give you warning. They already know your rough position. That's how I found you in the first place. What's this? Plans of the castle. They were tuning up my Pharonis when I happened upon them. They include schematics for the Annihilator. Take them and go back to Colony 4. Commander, you mean... If they can find us wherever we are, I want to at least secure a way for us to put up a fight. Am I wrong? <laughs> but, Mom, we can't very well. Also, about Noah's group. If you happen across them, tell them this. I will use lethal force, yes? What? Furthermore, tell them I wish them all the best of luck. I hope they reach their goal. Commander? Oh, Ethel. She sounds serious. And still... telling us to just... keep going? Well, that's Ethel for you. Hard-headed as they come. Won't she get into trouble? Because of you slipping out? Hardly. I'm just one missing foot soldier. No one's gonna pay it any mind. Huh? But your wounds earlier. Uh, truth is... air from falling off a cliff on the way here. It was dark as snuff. <laughs> Are you tugging my wings? Well, anyhow, it's nothing for you lot to fret over. This is our problem now. You focus on achieving your objective. We appreciate it. Ah, but man, you know, why's the commander got to duke out with you lot, eh? And why was our foe Kamaravi there, the Ashbar? Feels like the whole world's turned on its head. All righty. I'm heading back. Got it? You lot scoot on along out of these parts. There's still some time before they're done tweaking. And with you on foot... We're not running away. Not after all this. Huh? I'm staying too. What? Really? That light we saw a while back. If that... If that had come from the Annihilator... Even if we were to somehow reach our destination, if it was at the cost of all your lives, it wouldn't be worth it. <sighs> Surviving like that, 
I couldn't bear it. Mimi. Mia. Boliaris. The castle plans. Can you share them? Noah. You're not... You wouldn't. The fact remains, it was us that destroyed your clock. Therefore... Yes, but that's... Either way, I think it's clear at least part of the blame lies with us. It's only fair, then, that we destroy this Annihilator. Agreed? You for real? I'd be up for a little detour. Same here. You did offer us shelter. That creates an obligation. No way around. Someone here needs to keep friends in line. Count Riku in. If plan on fighting, we'll need first-rate chef too. Oh. And that's it. No looking back. Well, my de facto partner's running full steam ahead. I mean, I can't very well go backwards. Can I now? Oh, fine. Go on, then. You wouldn't make it far inside the castle without a proper healer anyway. Uni. Thanks, guys. You're the best. I'll head back to Colony 4. In case the shit hits the fan. Good luck, then, to all of you. Yeah. We'll be all right. Remember, we're up against the castle. Get too close, and we may come under fire. What's our plan? I think we'll be able to manage, as long as we're careful. Come to think of it, you used to go to the castle for Offseer training once a year, right, Noah? The Black Fog. Is there much there? There's actually quite a bit. Around this time, the whole area is shrouded in it. They couldn't find us in that cave in Neil Valley, right? And you think we can repeat that? Maybe. Using the fog to approach is clever, but risky. What if an annihilation event occurs? You know... I hadn't really given it much thought up until you mentioned it, but oddly it hasn't been happening. Seriously? I'm not sure why. Behind the castle, there's an ether deposit being mined in an area facing a lake. The ether being obtained there is then delivered into the castle through a freight entrance. So that's where we'll get our sneak on. There won't be anyone in the containers. If we can just get to them, without being spotted... Then we can get into the castle. Okay, let's assume we do give the guards the slip. What do we do once we're inside the place? Tyon, the sensors. What was the Colony 4 soldiers' search radius, with the fog out? Their scanning range... I'd put in the ballpark of 15 metri. Look here. In the reserve area, there's a maintenance hatch that leads directly to the outer wall. If we make it through here and get to the main housing, it'll land us in front of the Annihilator. Less chance of being spotted by troops outside, too. We can do this. There's one concern. The castle is the Queen's residence. What if we're found by the consuls? Then I guess we'll have a fight on our hands. But it's not like we don't have a retreat. Here. In Keves, after a homecoming, they wash away the belongings of the dead as part of a ritual. It's an understated affair. And the channel they use for it is here. It flows straight out, connecting to the lake outside the castle. I see. So we open a hatch near the Annihilator, ride the current, and we should come out right at the lake. 
More snuffy and water. Every time we run, why do we always end up getting drenched? I mean, feathers are a bitch to dry. Every time being our grand total of once. Well, let's just hope we don't have to fight. That's the ideal case. That's it, then. Mm. Ready whatever supplies you need. Then we can go. Proceed with caution in this fog. Something so valuable here. Majestic as ever. We must be getting closer. Moving troops through mountains or woodland tends to be strenuous. Let's take every precaution. Don't worry. I'm keeping a careful eye on our surroundings. My oh, God. Scream. Good going, Uni! What? What? Down, Black! Who's Towering! I see you! Break! I'll keep their attention on me. Dark banner! 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 Uncharted territory always puts me on edge. We got new folks on the map. Time to get cracking. Here. 
relationships changed. Nothing we can't handle. Who's with me? We can do it. No doubt about it. Up a cock slap. Oh, it's a bad day. Oh, that's a good leg up. Wow, big. Crack, it broke it off. Oh, sorry, Neo. Crack, they broke away. You what? You can keep going, can't you, Neo? Wow, big. I appreciate it. Yeah, let's do it, Kaya. I don't want to die. Uni, this can't be happening. Arms only just start. I appreciate it. I'm having way too much fun. You got it. Santa! Santa, wake up! I can't see what you're using. Everyone, Neo, you can't. Please, no. Four, three, two, one. No, 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 no. No, lean on me if you have time, God. Yeah. But you can't let you fight through the pain. You stay on your land. Thank you for that, will you? But I meant for the grip. I'm sorry. But you can't let... No good! Hey! No, no. no lean on me. I've no right to connect to you now, huh? Four. I'm the one you want. You don't have a point. What? No, uh, I'm still not what to do. I'll help you. You want no longer. Help's on the way! Hey! Oh! No! Yeah. Kyle! Keep it together! Maybe it wasn't the best thing I've ever seen! Unstoppable! Help's on the way! Crack the light, Ray! You're okay now. Oh, what are you happening? Uni! This can't be happening! No love for us! Hidden Fun's door! Hidden door! Fun's only just started! Ten more! No! Don't think you'll get away with this! Everyone! I'm sorry. What's been happening? I'll get you up in a sec. Land, there's no getting up from this. This can't be real. Not, anyway. not now. I'm not, not here. here. Senna, not back. The hell did I? Kion! Don't pay for this. No good. I'm sorry, everyone. Getting late. We should find somewhere to rest. I'm just gonna lie here and you can't stop me. I definitely feel stronger. Personal hygiene is every soldier's duty. should do it, you think? Okay. Next on the list is...
rare thing? Turkin just fell over. Proceed with caution in this fog. Of all the ways we could meet again, it ends up being this. The irony of it all. We are bound. That is how I see it. Bound? That certainly sounds like you. You're talking about... Fate. I think that is how you would put it. Fate, you say? Why? Why did you agree to be reborn? So you know. There were rumors that you were imprisoned, that you took the blame for the colony's seizure. It was only fitting. And perhaps I should have killed you there and then. Only through death can our feud be resolved. In a way, I am grateful. Now that I've been blessed with a Pharaonis and another chance. Another chance. A Pharaonis? This is for me. Absolutely. It's been tailor-made to suit your every need. The same goes for his Pharaonis. So, you better make the most of it. With what life you have left. Hmm? Huh? Uh. You've noticed, good girl. I guess they don't call you Silvercoat Ethel for nothing. What a clever thing you are. Those ones are a bit special. They're tied to both yours and Kamarabi's lives. <gasps> the more the two of you get heated up, the more your power grows. Oh, doesn't that sound sublime? 
Even though you're released from the struggle of life, your precious life force will connect straight to origin. showed me their image, but just who are they? They seem like soldiers from Kevis and Agnes, but are they human? Their hope. Hope? Dreams, desires, the future. Yes, they are hope personified. Indeed, they are your hope. They are everyone's hope, yes. I see. And there's only one choice. Yes, only one. I'll handle this. Might as well, yeah? Shall we deal with this? I'm the one you want. Time to get cracking. Come on, don't fail me now. Big responsibility. I'll do my best. Yes, uni's the bus. I'll handle this. Might as well, yeah? There's nothing we can't handle. Who's with me? Leave it to me. I'll have a try. Right. I'm not Big help. My power 
Oh, the ball! 
I'll provide the perfect defense. Keep you guys safe. I think that Turk can just drop something. Ah, <sighs> good thing we found this. Mimi, could you... There's a path to the lower levels. It's not an easy descent. Watch your step. your breath and approach from the back then you strike and the rest is easy whoa dude i came out of left field you're trying to creep me out there that would be a dangerous foe This place next, yeah? Gotta note this all down. Some relationships changed.
Get a bite to eat, please. Gotta watch where we're going. Careful not to fall from here. Ugh, I just want to leg it across and finish this. At your service. Here we are then. There's Kevis Castle. It'll still take a while on foot. We'll rest here today, then head out at first light. What a relief. I was worried about the water. Oh. You all right? Y yeah, my hand slipped. Better wash this again. Mm. Am I losing feeling? Tomorrow we'll finally reach the castle lands. I want us to be at our readiest. We should run one final check of everyone's equipment. Fine for you, isn't it? All that time you've got. Hmm? We keep taking this at such a casual pace. No sword march seems so distant. Mia? What am I even doing? I can't. You still have two months left. If we take care of this now, we can ensure the colony's safety. Just maybe we can make an ally of people in the castle. It'll make getting to sword march a bit easier. Still! It's two months. Might as well be nothing. But... I... 
you did agree to doing this. Well, yeah, but I know I did, but... Look, I know it was a snap decision. I understand why you're upset. Let's just take it easy tonight. Take a moment to breathe. Why wouldn't I be upset? Take what easy? We rest today and tomorrow. Before I know it, it'll be time. And then I'll be... I mean, I get that, but we... You don't get it! Not at all! What the spark? Know it, do you... Do you think you're perfect? Huh? How could I be perfect? I I'm just a regular guy. Right? Even Mimi has her faults. We're only human. The truth is, she's terrified. She needs someone to tell her that everything will be all right. I mean, you. <sighs> Never seen her like this. Poor Mimi. She actually tells you stuff. I have seen her thoughts, you know. No, no, no. I'm not talking about any of that. She just needed to vent. She did? I'm actually kind of jealous. Huh? You're an off-seer, Noah. I thought you were sharper than this. What's that supposed to... You better give her a good apology later, you hear? Got it? Promise me that. Uh... Sure. Yeah, uh, you can count me out for any of that. Huh? Well, maybe. Maybe? What do you mean? Uh, uh, forget it. In any case, it has no bearing on our objective. Too right. We'll get all this done. The next stop, the city. Right. For Mio's sake. <laughs> hmm? First time we've agreed on something, eh? It is. Hey. What's that in aid of? Do the right thing. Come on. What? Sorry, but I refuse to debase myself like this. All right, you be that way. <laughs> Manada! Portion of Riku. Meh. <laughs> no more snooze. Sun already hang high in sky. Sorry about last night. I was just feeling the pressure. I should be sorry. I didn't realize. It must be tough for you, I'm sure. This, uh, 
belonged to a friend. We served in the same colony. She was my officer partner. Miabi was her name. So your officers sometimes work in pairs? Yeah. You know, I was surprised when you joined in and played alongside me back then. Anyway, one day there was an experiment and she, she told me to keep on living. To live life in her stead, to fight on, but the stupid thing is, I was the one who was older than she was. <laughs> Now I see. That was... Say, wanna... exchange flutes? What? But isn't that... I, I guess it's a little too icky. No, no. I, I don't care about that. I'm just trying to I just to say... like it... to be used a little longer. To make up for the time me Abby lost. You'll still be around after me. Mio. I get it. All right, it's a trade. You should know. Mine's seen better days too. Don't worry. I don't really mind either. Thank you for the chat. I'm kind of surprised. Surprised? Even after interlinking, there's still things I don't know about you. Well, of course. How can you when there are things I don't understand myself? You're not going to pick up on everything. Could have put it into words first. Yeah, but it doesn't always work, even then. Like last night. Oh, that. That was me being selfish. But now... I feel like we're starting to get on the same wavelength. Maybe interlinking just helped that along. To bring us a little closer together. Maybe, yeah. That might just be it. Mimi? I'm sorry I worried you. I'll be okay now. Look over there. Make it through here, and we'll be in sight of the castle. For Ethel's sake, we have to take care of the Annihilator. And quickly. Huh? Is that... <laughs> We've never been here before. I know it's grim, but it needs doing. Look 
Look over there. Oh, that's a rare one. Oh, look at that. This should prove useful later. This is our first time here, isn't it? Gotta note this all down. What's that sound? Veronises. I told you life is short, but I didn't mean it like this. Noah. Mia. That voice? Ethel? Ethel. But then who's the other one? That one? It's from Agnes, right? I recognize the Crescent Mooncrest. Kamaravi's piloting that thing. Kamaravi. That's him. Ethel's sworn rival. But why? How did they get them to work together? Flitting like moths to a flame. And predictions are nothing to be sniffed at. Gotta hand it to him. Ugh. Anyone else wanna show up? N. Uh, I'm afraid this is about as far as you go. Terribly sorry, chums. I know who he is. He's the consul from Colony Zeta. I remember him from a joint operation. Then I guess this one's meant to be from our side then, is she? Never seen her before. Probably. So the consuls are colluding as well. Something's really starting to smell. I can come. I thought that my message to you was crystal clear. Yes, we heard you. That's why we're here. I thought so. I had a hunch that this would be the path the Roboros chose to follow. I don't suppose you'll step aside for us? Wishful thinking. Give it up. Well then, we'll do whatever it takes for the greater good! Well spoken. Then I say the same to you. Offseers from Kevis and Agnes. Fate binds us. I bear none of you ill will, but my way demands we fight. Come then, and test your mettle against my land. You've got to be joking. Mudder, I'm not testing anything against that. What happened to fighting fair? We won't get anywhere complaining. Ready yourself, Uni. Ready, he says. From the moment I chose this muddy path, I've been more than ready. Huh. Oh, I know. Then what you say it for, asshole? Zip it, guys. Get ready. They're here.
always get sued. Fuck! Go find any way to get inside! The joints. Their sheer power really is something to behold. Noah. Neo. Coordination. I'd be done for if it weren't for this Veronis. Thanks for the compliment. No. no. What, what do you think? think? I, I think, think this, this is, is the decider. decider. Okay, okay, let's, let's do, do it. it. Yeah, we've, we've got, got this. this. Come on, what are they playing at? Am I crazy? We gave them Veronises and everything. They had better not be holding back. You think they might be underestimating us? Us, of all people! Listen, oh, Ethel's a lost cause. But Kamaravi? We could use him. Kamaravi? Oh, I get what you're saying. You know, I forgot we even had that option. Hmm. Now, see the enemy before you. Use every last ounce of strength and crime them to dust. What's wrong, Kamarade? Look, you can see an enemy right there. Enemy, that is my enemy. Enemy. Enemy! Enemy! Kamaravi, what's wrong with you? Kamaravi! Ah! Oh no! The Iris! I knew it! Kamaravi! This is. I am. I am under no one's yoke! Kamaravi, you you really your own eye. I will be as they are. I am. I am free! Free. You're right. We're free. Free! The two of us! What are you saying? Ethel, what? Attend, Ethel. Yes! Our dream will not perish! <laughs> What the snuff's going on? Are the consoles doing this? No! This is... It's what they want! Absolutely right, Mia! Ethel! Ever since I met you all, I have admired you! Admired us? Your freedom! I bless the fortune I have had in meeting all of you! You have my gratitude! Gratitude? This feeling of elation. Liberating. Is it not? I feel it too, Kamaravi. What are they fighting each other for? Oh? I, I can't believe this. He, he won't listen to any of my commands. Ethel! Why in flames do you have to fight each other? We're supposed to be your enemies. I told you, Noah. Observe. This here is the purpose of my life. Just know, you were the ones who finally opened my eyes. Stop this! Stop it this instant, Ethel! Come, Ravi! In that case... They're flame clocks! This is weird. Look, Look at the way the light is moving. Is that... Is that their life force we're seeing? Have you gone completely insane? You were supposed to kill Ourobora! So stop this senseless fighting and obliterate those brats! If you don't, I'll take your precious little life and drain it dry. Did you hear that? I knew it. So they really can drain their life.
Ethel! Kamarathi! No! We have to kill the consuls! You're right! It's okay, Noah. It's over for us now. That's rubbish! Ethel! This is wrong! All of this is wrong! There's no reason for you to be fighting each other! You might not understand now. But someday you will. This is what I... This is what both of us want. How can... How can any of this be what you want? You're both gonna die! What we leave you is more important. All our aspirations. You must keep them in your hearts. You must take them. Make it all mean something. You have to live. You must live on. Let us cross blades one last time. Well, didn't they come in handy? What was N thinking, picking those reckless hotheads? Mmm, good grief. Looks like we're just gonna have to work out this lot ourselves. You scumbags. Fine then. I did expect something like this. Time for plan B. Interlinking. You've been blessed with quite the talent. You feel special? What now? I do hate to burst your bubble, but I'm afraid it's not just an Ouroboros thing. Oh. I'm ready when you are. Ha! Then, shall we? who you truly are, though I hate to admit it. However, I do know one thing. You guys 
really make my sparks fly. You there, in the back, feeling lonely because you haven't been punched yet? You better enjoy that while it lasts, because I'm about to rearrange both your mugs. Usually, I'm not one for outward displays of emotion, but not today. Noah, you better not stop us! Oh, believe me, I won't. You make me laugh. Us, half assed Our conviction has never been stronger. And now, we will show no mercy. By Ethel and Kamaravi's lives, I swear, I'll make you pay! <coughs> you Ouroboros brat! Come on, then! This time, you shall tremble before our perfection!
Come for me! 
One piece? Yeah. I think I've got all my limbs attached. <coughs> Queen's fingers, that was close. Quite a snap decision there, Noah. That was Mio's doing. I'm very impressed. It was easy. I do know how you think.
Noah, can I ask a weird question? Sure. In that ceremony, you didn't send them off? No, today's been a bit much. I'm only human. I know, right? Well then, that's a relief. It's wrong. That shouldn't be what gives our lives purpose. Wasn't there a different way? A better one? Those two fought for their ideal. Something more important than their lives. Honor? Or pride? Satisfaction, perhaps? No, that's wrong. Something we can't put into words. Yeah, but what? Can it really be that important? I can't say. Do you think they found it? That... something? Be nice if they did. You think so? I just... Seems... so sad. Sleep well? Yeah. Well, sort of. Well, your eyes are red. Hey, shut up! So what if they are? But... I know what I have to do. Everything's so... clear now. Same here. We'd better hurry. After all... The threat's not gone. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> hmm? You surprised me. You did too. I, I didn't think you were the sort to take such a stand. Sometimes we're left with no other choice. Hmm. Yeah, I think you're right. Absolutely right. What do we do about... Ethel? When things are settled, we'll let Colony 4 know. It's what she'd want. I'm certain of it. Yeah, you're right. She'd be happy. Should we rest? We got new folks on the map. I'm going to put my feet up, if you don't mind. Oh, yeah, we were going to talk about that thing. Let's keep things on a tight loop. Yo! Gotta I'm note this all down. down. I don't care what this annihilator thing is. 
We've got to wreck it. Oh, believe me, we will. So much to see, huh? I wonder, how do you think Ethel felt? Was that really what she wanted? This is my personal opinion, but life's defined by moments. Your acts define you. I think she found value in that. To achieve something in the limited time left to her, one defining moment was what she chose. You think Mimi feels the same way? I gave you my opinion. I'm sure Mio has her own thoughts on the matter. Although, I know she doesn't have that much time left. And hence, my being here now. So, you've chosen your path. Until now, I was afraid to take that first step. But now, I can do it. Man. You really think they'll come? They'll come. You can count on it. Yeah? And then what? If you want to give them a hug, you can count me out of it. I want to show something to Her Majesty. Yeah? And what's that then? I mean, she's not even... She needs to be there to see how hope dies. What's this about now? She can see it. Her Majesty occupies the same niche of existence as we do. Just past that gate, we'll find the Colony 11 garrison. Beyond that is a residential zone. From there, there's a road to the castle's main gate. Gate penetration would not be easy. Expect huge battle. Yeah, so we'll take a detour through the hovering reefs to the right and swing around behind the castle. That's where we'll find the ether mine and freight entrance I mentioned. Understood. We shouldn't be hanging around here for long. Let's make for those reefs, as you called them. Good. This way. Follow me.
This will lead us round to the back of the castle. Oh, another place high up. to see, huh? This was a nice find. Look over there. Anybody else feeling curious? Oh, no, 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 no,
This one comes naturally. Leave it to me. Only! Come on, don't fail me now. It, it's not gonna strike us or anything, right? I'll hang on to it. Huh. Good thing we found this. Here we go. soldiers. It would only be right to give them the proper repose.
Let me check. It appears we can pass through here. This is something decent, right? All right, let's do it. Leave this be. Quite a rare sight. Something so valuable here. Guess we'll clamber up here. Meat. Kick him aside. Together we What's cannot that lose. Device? device 
Wait for a moment. Using that device should allow us to proceed. Uh, what do I do again? What's that device? Looks like it's still usable. Who wants to do the honors? Better give it a good once over. Customer. Okay, well, we doing this? I'm the one you want. Time to get crushed. Ooh, ball yeah. Yeah. Oh, oh. 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 my off his screen. Oh. 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 I'm the one you want. This is what you're doing. Wow, point thrust. Overfall. My office. Now we're the thing. Vulcan, let's go to them. Wow, I'm a bit of fun. Overfall. The turn to dirt Thanks. Wait. Power ring. I'm the one you want. Cool. Power up for a warrant. I'm more than a drunk to punch your life down. My office is up! Now it's really easy! I'm the one you want! Keep me going. Oh, 
Jesus! Come on! I was just carrying my head. Observe my strategy. You two run to take mine. Only! I have your back, whatever the weather. Thing ain't happening. I couldn't begin to guess, but I'd say the castle has something to do with it. Hey, do we want to rest? Why don't we get a little of everything?
We got new folks on the map. I'm gonna put my feet up if you don't mind. This has me raring to go. Now then, ready to resume our travels? Gotta note this all down. There it is. Black Fog too. Few enough numbers to sneak around. Is Colony 4 gonna be safe, do you think? They should be okay. We haven't seen the light for a while. I think that's a good sign. Let's move. The fact that we killed consuls must be old news at this point. Could have made examples of a few people by now. They ain't expecting us to sneak aboard, though. We've got them with their pants down. Let's get in there, mess them up, get out. Bish bash bosh. Actually, they may have already anticipated our moves. Nah, mate. Come off it. Think about it. How would they have known where we'd be? Uh, Can't be a coincidence. I mean, sure, it could have been intuition on Ethel's part, but we have to be realistic. So it's a trap? You want to turn back? No. We'll go. We can't turn back now. We can't allow their deaths to have been in vain. So you would entertain the risk? It does sound bad. You know, I think I kind of like it. Gotta note this all down. Oh man, this is fun! Something so valuable here. Gotta note this all down. Looks like you were right, Noah. There's a whole bunch of containers here. Let's go over this again. First, we get to those containers without being spotted. With me so far? Anyone spots us, we're like ninjas. 
We take them out quickly and silently. Once we're inside, we pick the right opportunity to proceed through the hangar. Our goal is here. The maintenance hatch that leads outside. From there, we head to outer deck. Right. Enemy presence should be lower around there. Then we move to the main housing. Assuming we get there, how do we trash it? I can brief you on the next steps. After analyzing the data we got from Boliaris, I discovered a flaw in the Annihilator's construction. A weak point? Indeed. Here. The weapon is designed to temporarily render the black fog inactive, condense and collect it, then release it in one blast. Our best bet is to destroy the neutralizer assembly from which it draws its power. But it's located in the castle interior. Getting there will be no joke. Once there, we'll need to damage the autobalancer in the barrel's housing. Most likely, it was built in a hurry. The movable barrel is affixed to this outer ring that you see here. But the ring isn't strong enough to take the barrel's weight or absorb the recoil. That's why the autobalancer was added after construction, as an afterthought. So what? We've just got to smash that thing to pieces. Smash it, and the entire ring begins to fall apart, and the barrel collapses under its own weight. How strong is the autobalancer? Not too sturdy? Nothing Ouroboros can't handle. So, what's this thing? That is a refrigeration unit. The barrel needs vast amounts of energy. It would have to be kept cool at all times to keep the energy in check. I'm surprised it's so huge. Seems that was built quickly, too. It's got both bulk and heft to it. They probably couldn't have made it any smaller. Hmm. A rush job, huh? Okay, then. We all good to go? Yeah. No more taking it easy. Let's make this happen. Say, over there, if we slid along that... Gotta be all sneaky like around here. Or we could just punch clean through quick as. Here we go! So much to see, huh? Not to worry, just stick to the plan. Brought me down into the dust. No! You're supposed to protect you! Here! Wait! Wait. Nobles! Oh, Nothing a bit of 
teamwork couldn't handle. Whatever happened to not being careless? Come on, don't fail me now. Throw oh, me good. Into the dust. Help's on the way. I can keep them occupied. So, where's the maintenance hatch? It's in the reserve area on the upper level. First, we'll need to take the elevator that can get us up to that floor. I don't see any guards. Too foggy for taste of banana. If we're gonna move, now's the time. That said, we are indoors. Move fast, but keep your eyes peeled. Yeah, of course. New Here colonies on the grid! Colony relations got updated. Woo! Nora and Tyon's plan went off without a hitch! How about it? Shall we take it on? I can keep them occupied. What you got for me? Hey, ugly! No! 
Seem to have been discovered. What's this now? Container. Should we rest? You know, you've got to take regular breaks. Definitely feel stronger. Personal hygiene is every soldier's duty. Let's move out. Just part of the protocol, innit?
got a rare doodah right here. Oh, whack him good. Well, we've been found. Now we can follow the route above. That should get us over to the elevator. I'm the one you want!
Look at that. Shall we deal with this?
We've been spotted. I can keep them occupied. I can keep them occupied. Got a rare doodah right here. Oh, whack him good. We've been found. This is something decent, right? side of this area. Well, we've been found.
I'm gonna put my feet up if you don't mind. Personal hygiene is every soldier's duty. Get it equipped! I think we'll find this useful. I'm eager to run some tests. Right then, should we get a move on? Gotta note this all down. I'm gonna put my feet up, if you don't mind. Let's bounce. Riku, see! There is Annihilator. Bigger than Homecoming Pudding! That's huge. Think of the firepower. Two or three colonies could, like, be wiped off the map with one shot of that. We have to hurry. If it starts moving now. If the map is correct, the auto balancer should be in that housing. That's what we're after, right? Yeah. Eesh. 
reckon that massive thing is gonna be a job and a half. But smash that auto balancer, and the whole thing comes down. I wonder what's around here. Oh! It looks even bigger, seeing it up close. Noah, that's the auto-balancer. Right. Just like on the map. Well then, let's get to it. Senna? My pleasure. <gasps> Sorry, pals. Afraid I can't let you do that. You! Sup? Been a while, eh? Mobius! How'd you figure it out? You lot aren't too bright, are you? Sure, we can't pinpoint your exact position inside all the black fog, but we can get a general idea where you're hanging out. Once we picked up your reading near the castle, we knew. I mean, what? You were just passing through, were you? You'd have to be an idiot to think that. <sighs> Uni, what is it? It's... nothing. This guy just does my head in, is all. He very condescending. I couldn't agree more. Let's shut him up then. Yorin! <laughs> <laughs> huh? You're here, too. <laughs> so that's what you look like. What do you think? Quite the looker, eh? I knew it was a trap. I'm not entirely sure I would say trap, exactly. Eh, you'd have to ask N for the details. N? So you took down P and O, did you? Not bad at all. Good riddance, I say, idiot. I mean, going past the time limit while interlinking. Who does that? Dumbest thing I've ever heard. So that really was it, the time limit. Well, since you lot have already tangled with them, we can make this quick. I'm just glad I won't have to explain this. Yes, why even explain? Out. So, loads better than P and O, right? <laughs> Can't beat them this time. Won't know until we try. Well, what are we gonna try? Bjorn's in there, you know. Yeah, I noticed. N Noah. No time to think. For Ethel's sake, we have to destroy the annihilator. You 
whatever the weather. Let me get you to the 
This is bad, Noah. I see it! No, you don't! What you slacking around for? If you don't hurry, the colony's gonna be a pile of ash! Uni. You're too slow! Girly, I think we've met before. W what? <laughs> Those eyes. You're afraid, aren't you? Why so scared? <laughs> I'll kill you whenever you cross my path. Let me lead. I'll handle this. Go! Mondo! Ha! You're not hitting me! Ha! Sure on that! What? Fine! Scatter! We won? No. What? Ah! <laughs> Sorry, I don't think so. You'll have to do something about me first. You'll never win this otherwise. <laughs> well then, we'll just have to take out this! Me, you gotta keep them busy! I'll do that! Choice. These can sense the slightest shifts in the air. Kind of a sensor, really. Even without looking at you, I can tell exactly what you're doing. So you brats better learn fast. Every movement in the air. Ha! Huh? Oh, 
all you're sensing is the area around you. What's your point? Well, if I make some distance, looks like you can sense spark all! An illusion! Just so! Son of a... You did that at the start! <laughs> Thought you had my number. You were so into my fear that you didn't notice what changed. And sure, I was scared. But even then, you'll find I'm no quitter. Are they dead? No. I shot one of my Mondo into their body. I sense it's still there. I'd say it's likely they got away. That right. <sighs> Uni, have you ever met him before? As in before we became Ouroboros, I mean. No idea. But I think that... Something inside me remembers. That guy. And his claws. Maybe that has to do with Mobius, too. Why they exist here in our world. Well, then. I've got a no, don't I? And then I'll break free. And it won't have to feel like I'm suffocating. Uni. We can think more later. Right now, we should make ourselves scarce. You're right. We might have destroyed the Annihilator, but we haven't liberated the castle. Looks like colony relations have changed. Hey, is that... should lead to a channel. Work with me. Here we go. <sighs> Better give it a good once over. This is our escape route, right? Yeah. Jump in this channel and we'll pop out in the lake outside. Great. We can't go on with this thing in the way. Maybe this channel not connect to Outside Castle? Weird. This wasn't on the map. So where are we at right now? Somewhere here in the mid-level? It's okay. If we go a bit further, we can get back in the channel. Might as well, then. Let's see where this goes. Yeah. Get on this lift. I 
think so. It should take us to the channel's upper level. Just take a break. Better make sure we're well rested. Okay, good as new. Let's move out. It's good to keep a record. The channel keeps on going. Work with me. Huh? <sighs> um, are you sure we're on the right path? Doesn't this feel off? We followed the right route. According to Boliaris' data, we should be... Everything here looks so sumptuous and lavish! Wait. Hmm? It's the right path, but... We shouldn't be here. What do you mean? Why shouldn't we? <sighs> I should have known! I saw an image of it in training. Oh, oh, shit, we gotta go! Noah, is this where I think it is? Yeah, the throne room. This is not just bad place. This worstest place, heart of enemy base. We haven't been noticed yet. Let's get out of here, now. Good idea. What are you doing? We have to go. Noah, what are you playing at? Come on! <sighs> Is this? Yeah. I barely remember it, but yeah. This is the place where we were born. Spark. This is creepy. Were we ever like that? My skin's crawling. Please, can we leave? All those people... Do you think they're sleeping? Or maybe they're... Wait, is that... It is her. What? Ethel! Huh? That's crazy. How can it be Ethel? Well, it sure looks like her. But this is definitely a first-termer. No, it really is Ethel. From when we first met her. Yeah, no mistake. W what do you mean, when you first met? 
What in the spark is this? This is what they taught us, right? That our lives are born from the Queen. You are as well. Huh? Same for you guys. We soldiers are born from the Queen. We fight. And then... To the Queen, you return. returned, my beloved soldiers. Oh. A consul! Ouroboros rabble. You dare to intrude on the presence of Her Majesty, Melia Antiqua. There's a golden consul? What is this guy? He's not like the other consuls we've met. Mio, be careful. <sighs> Mio! Uh, sorry. What's wrong? Uh, nothing. Don't worry. I'm okay. What? Huh? I know him. But from where? What is... this sensation? I have endeavored, for countless years, to protect and shelter Kevis under my aegis. And now you seek to bring ruin to this world. This grieves me. Come off it! How are we bringing ruin to anything? You seek to deny it. Think upon your actions. Have you, or have you not? destroyed colony flame clocks. We didn't have any choice. No choice. Indeed. I assume then, you had no choice but to collude with our sworn enemy. That's why you've been trying to wipe us out. Both us and Ethel's Colony 4. Verily it is said, Uroboros abhor this world. You must be erased, lest this world be destroyed. We don't abhor anything. Do you realize how many battles we've fought and won for Keves? We've served you our whole lives, and now this bollocks! Your Majesty, please! You say you fight for Keves, that you've served us. Are you certain? Rather, it seems, you have been fighting for yourselves and none other. <sighs> You cling to life in your desperation. That is why you have fought. Unchecked, Uroboros will lead this world to ruin. Now, by my authority, you shall perish. So, that's it. That's your verdict, then. It is not Her Majesty's verdict. It is the will of the world. It's what? Indeed. The security of this world is paramount. Therefore, Ouroboros, the end is nigh, for you shall die by my hand. I'll show you! 
I know, but we have to. Even so! Noah! <gasps> huh. What? What's 
retreat. Her Majesty is a machine. Spark off. Are you serious? <laughs> <laughs> Was that your doing, Queen? You haven't given up your false hope. Very well. By all means, look on. Witness how hollow your hope rings as I slice it all to ribbons. <laughs> Why does he make my head hurt? Noah! What's wrong? We're not done yet! Take up your blade! What's going on? Are you okay? It is fate. Oh, fate? Many have tried, but none have ever managed to escape its flow. Wait, that sword. How does he... Numbers. Witnesses. Yeah, we've seen one before. Gotta be! Noah, let's book it! Yes, they won't be attacking the colony now. There's no point in our being here anymore. You're right. Still... of fate. How easily it slips from my grasp. Yet, perhaps, it will come within reach once more. And if it does, what will you do then? Need you ask? I will give us equilibrium. A time unchanging, our eternity. <laughs> 